Yo, what's popping guys and welcome back to another Scratch tutorial. In this Scratch tutorial, we are going to be continuing on our 3D Raycaster. In the last episode, we went ahead and we made this, where you can walk around in this 3D maze. Uh, you can collide with walls. And yeah, that's about it. Um, if you haven't seen the tutorial, definitely go do that. I will leave a link in the description to it. Um, yeah, today I am going to be going over how to do a few more things, such as adding a ceiling and a floor, which is, like, the most easiest thing in the world. Uh, adding a ceiling and a floor, uh, sprinting for sure. We're going to be adding ceiling and a floor, sprinting for sure. So, how about we get right into that? Give me one second, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Alright, I just sneezed. Alright, so, yes. Today we're working on sprinting, uh, the floor, ceiling, and I'm also going to make it so that when you're backing up, you move slower than when you're walking forward. Just because, you know, some cool little details. So to start with the ceiling and the floor, it's super easy. Uh, go to your backdrop, right? Go ahead, make a black line. It doesn't have to be black, I just make it black. Going directly through the center. That's not the center, I'm aware. I'm just going to move it up now to the center. There, just like that. See, it's hidden because of the walls being there. Um, uh, what color do you want our floor? Let's make our floor like a dark gray. All right, now our floor is a dark gray. No color do we want our ceiling? Let's say we want it like a bit of a sky color because we're walking outside. Boom. Now we have a sky. Then you start playing. And then look. You have a ceiling and a floor now. It, it just looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? It just looks a heck of a lot nicer. I think so. Look at that. Look at how crisp and smooth it is. Oh, it looks so good. All right, what's next? Now we need to add some more uh, different kinds of movement mechanics. You know how it goes. You know how it is. You know what it be, what it do, how it... Yeah. So. One more thing we're going to do is I'm going to add also a WSD functionality. So... One right arrow key pressed, or the equivalent to a right arrow key press on WASD is the D key. I don't know if you knew this, but it's the D key. Um, I'm also going to just oh, okay. Left arrow, the equivalent is the A key. Up arrow, the equivalent is the W key. And down arrow, the equivalent is the S key. Alright, there we go. Now when you play the game, you can use WASD or arrow keys. Or you can use both. You can use like WASD to move forwards and backwards. And the arrow keys to move side to side. I think the side to side thing, like turning our head, I think that needs to be faster in my opinion. So I'm going to do this 5 and 5. That's what I think. I think that's a lot better. Well, actually, it's not as smooth, is it? It's more kind of choppy. So, I mean, I, I, I suppose three is fine. What if we did one? I wonder what happened. Let's see. Let's see how slow we turn. Oh, it's slow. Oh, it's slow. It's slow. Let's try a four. How does a four look? Four is okay. It's still choppy. I'm just going to keep it three. Three was a good one. Three was good. Okay. Now let's set up a system where if we're walking backwards, we move slower. So if up arrow pressed, that's fine, moving at our normal speed. If down arrow pressed, we can move at a negative 1 instead of a negative 1.5, so we move backwards a little slower. Now why would you want to do this? I don't know, I just think it's a cool mechanic. Moving forward and then moving backwards, it's a little bit slower. You can barely even notice it. I kind of want you to notice it, though. I want you to notice it. I want you to be able to be like, oh, I'm moving a lot slower right now. Yeah, look at that. Move super fast forward, and then at a super slow speed backwards. So if you really want to get faster, just turn around. Okay, cool. What is next? Um, okay, sprinting now. Let's set that up. Okay, right here. In our movements. I'm just going to completely dupe all of this. 
and then put that underneath and I think this would work I don't know why I wouldn't I do an and and put that in there and I'm just gonna do Z for sprinting I think yeah I'll do Z for sprinting and if key Z is pressed actually no I don't need to do this giant thing oh my goodness keep this no oh my goodness like that mm. No, I should do that. Let's try both. Let's just try both of my ideas that I have in mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, and, oh my goodness, dude. So, let me just take this out, and this out, and what am I doing? What am I doing? I am, like, having a, and I'm just going crazy right now. Oh my lord. It needs to be this. We we do this, not the turn sideways. This this one. Wow, I'm just not ha I'm just not having my day today. Uh, so we do this and key Z pressed. Key Z. Uh, let's pop that back in there move so we're already going to be moving 1.5 because we're holding the the forward arrow so this is going to be like a modifier to our speed so we'll do like uh let's do like let's do let's try to make our math function i think this would work uh we do move we do move speed plus 0.5 if that doesn't work, I understand why. So, let's try it. Moving forward, press Z. Does it look like we're getting faster? Z, not Z, Z, not Z. Doesn't look like it. So, how do we go about fixing that? I'm an imbecile, I know how to do it. <laughs> wow, I'm slow. Um, and then in this, grab an if else, put that in there. If key, Z pressed or whatever you want your sprint key to be. Um, and we're gonna put this is if we're not pressing Z. If we're not sprinting, we move our default. If we are, we'll move two, just like that. And then do the same here. Grab an if else. And if we're not holding Z, we'll go at our normal speed. But if we are holding Z, we remove negative one so we move backwards a little bit quicker let's try it out so I'm, i'll move my mouse off the thing so we move it around and we press z and we start sprinting and z no z z yeah you can i can see it at least z yeah i can see that z z z and then let's try backwards Oh, yeah, I can definitely tell with the backwards for sure. Yeah, all right. That's cool. That's cool. Look at that. Now we got a little bit of a sprinting mechanic in there. I think that's really neat. But that is where I'm going to end this tutorial because that's all I wanted to do. I really just wanted to add sprinting and floor ceiling uh, and the backwards movement thing. Uh, sorry there wasn't much added to this tutorial, uh, but either way, I still hope you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. If you didn't like it, like it anyways, because part three will be coming soon. And I think I will make the walls not look like a bunch of lines. I think I'll make them look actually nice. Right? I mean, they already look beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I'm not making fun of them because they look amazing, especially for a for a program that not, is not really supposed to be running uh, this. Actually, no, no. I'll show you one more thing. You know what? I'll show you one more thing. No, I won't. I'll do it in the next video. I'll do it in the next video. Some people already left when I said thank you guys so much for watching. All right, so, uh, so yeah, so you should like it. Uh, if you want to help me out and you enjoy my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That helped me out a lot. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.